does Trump blow hot or cold? Or is he a blow hard? Trump recently declared that America was dead, but is now the hottest place in the world under his leadership. Record scratch. But one engineering student decided to investigate, is Trump's America actually exothermic or endothermic? And more importantly, is it literally hell, the hottest place of all? This was an actual bonus question on a thermodynamics exam. President Trump claims America is now the hottest place on Earth. Using engineering principles determine if this is thermodynamically accurate. Most students wrote standard proofs using Boyle's law and heat transfer equations. But one student, a genius, submitted this. First, we need to know how the mass of America is changing in time. Specifically, the rate that souls are entering versus leaving. Let's examine Trump's immigration policies. He's deporting people at record rates, meaning souls are leaving. However, he also claims everyone wants to come here because it's so hot right now. This creates a thermodynamic paradox. Using Boyle's law, if America is hell, and hell is gaining pressure from all the winning, then one of two things must occur. One, if America hell is expanding slower than the rate of souls entering, the temperature and pressure will increase until all hell breaks loose. Which, checks notes, happened on January 6, 2021, so that tracks. 2. If America hell is expanding faster than souls can enter, the temperature will drop until hell freezes over. Did I see Trump in a winter coat? Now, here's where it gets interesting, Trump said, and I quote, It'll be a cold day in hell before I release my tax returns. He still hasn't released them. Therefore, using the Trump postulate, number two is false. Hell has not frozen over. America cannot be cooling. Additionally, Trump stated America would be so hot you wouldn't believe it under his presidency. Given that A, he claims we were dead, in hell. B, we are now the hottest. Temperature increasing uncontrollably. C. His own statements violate the second law of thermodynamics. I can conclusively prove that Trump's America is exothermic, continuously giving off heat, because we are in fact in hell, and hell is expanding at maximum capacity. The student received an A+. The professor's note simply read, Sheesh, this explains so much. American political discourse remains in a superheated state. A radical phase change is coming.